welcome back to the channel. Now, about a month ago, I started looking at the Cadison C1009, which is a Longines Conquest homage. And about that same time, I received a request to review one. So I hit the buy button, and a month later, here we are. Now, this is my first attempt at an unboxing video. So if anything, I'm looking at this like a little bit of an experiment. And generally, I don't watch unboxing videos that often, as usually I'd just rather watch a full review. But I thought this could be a good way to give you guys some more content, and an early preview of things to come. Now, as you can tell, it arrived in a standard paper envelope containing the box. Opening that up, there's nothing particularly special, just a black unlabeled cardboard exterior. Although it did take me a minute to realize that I needed to slide it out. Trying to do this with a camera blocking some of your vision is harder than it looks. Sliding out is a slightly nicer cardboard with the Cadison logo. Inside, standard paperwork, standard styrofoam, and here it is, complete with high-tech plastic bag protection. Let's wind it to get it going. And I need to remove the plastic wrap to get a closer look, and to make sure that the specs I'm seeing on the face are from the plastic wrap, and not on the crystal itself. Now first thoughts, it's beautiful, but a little smaller looking than I thought. I like that black bezel, but I'm not sure what it's made out of, I might have to figure that out. And I'm already starting to figure out that that shiny black dial bezel and slightly darker metal hands are going to be a pain to film and get just right. The crown shape is a little unusual, but I think I like it. The Miyoto movement is nice, but I can feel the ridge of the crystal on the back of the case back. And a very pleasant surprise, the hour indicators have loom, but where's the loom on the hands? Well, it's time to swap the strap and take it outside, and start getting to know it better. Thanks for joining me on this, and let me know in the comments your thoughts. Not just about the watch, but about unboxings in general. It will help me decide if I do more as things come in. Oh, and one last thing. If you're looking for more channels to watch, I highly suggest you go check out WatchUp69's recent video where he goes over his recommended channels. Thanks again, everyone.